I'm Nicole Strait. I'm the Fairfield County Site Director from Food Rescue US. I am so excited to be here today. This is our inaugural run from Pepperidge Farm. They are our newest donors. They're right in Norwalk. And um, as the Fairfield County Site right. Director, sorry, that's my ways, um, I like to always do the first rescue just to get to know who our donors are and who the receiving agency is going to. And part of what I do as the Fairfield County Site Director is I try to partner up the closest receiving agency to the closest donor because as a volunteer you don't want to spend hours driving so ideally this will take us maybe 20 minutes um, every rescue is a little bit different so this is our new first one today so come on you can just follow me along this is Sarah from Pepperidge Farm <laughs> so we're really excited to have so what are you guys donating today uh, we have kind of a Texas toast, loaves, turnovers, right. a lot of good stuff, That's right. um, tons of goldfish and tons of cookies Sometimes a lot of kids, their only food is for school lunch. So this is so nice. This is actually going um, 1.7 miles away. I just, you know, I loaded my car. Um, it doesn't matter what kind of car you have. I just say take whatever you can take. We have some rescuers who make multiple trips. Um, you don't have to. It's entirely up to you. There are often times I just get whatever I can fit. You'd be surprised what you can fit into a car. Um, I pile it up. Sometimes I bring my kids with me for an extra set of hands. Um, especially in the summer when you're, it really makes a it's an extra set of hands, but it really makes it personal. To show. On vacation, so we do find that in the summer we tend to have a lot of. But you know, if you are looking to time to do it, Sarah, thank you. Thank you. I'll see you next month. So. I'm not driving and videoing. Rescues really only take about we do rescues from Whole Foods. We do rescues from Trader Joe's. Right. So, of course, each food rescue is. I also do a food rescue from Whole Foods. And, you know, you go in the back. People, of course, expect you if you've never done. Um, all the food generally comes boxed up in like leftover vegetable boxes or whatever they happen to have there. So it's pretty easy. Um, again, whatever you can't take in your car, you don't have to take. It's okay. We don't expect you to make like 20 trips. Um, I will say we had an amazing, one of our amazing volunteers, um, Trader Joe's one day had 52 boxes of food to donate. And this woman, who I'm going to call Superwoman, spent three hours schlepping 52 boxes of food to the receiving agency, which was so awesome. Um, they were super, super grateful. So we're just making our way. And, you know, part of the fun of what I do as the site director is, you know, we're always getting requests from new receiving agencies. Um, we have a new receiving agency in Norwalk. Um, that works with immigrants and they collect clothing and food and they've just gotten a couple refrigerators and so what I do is I try to make sure that the right receiving agency gets the right donations because there's some organizations that can't take 52 boxes of food and there's some that can so part of what I do it's a bit like making a puzzle piece is um, you know I try to make sure that the right receiving agency so where we're going today it's the mid Fairfield um, Child Guidance Center and this is going to be an amazing um, donation for them. And um, Pepperidge Farm is actually doing this donation once a month for us, which is so cool. Uh, so if anybody has any questions, feel free to type them up. And Reagan, my handy dandy co-pilot, will read them off to me. In half a mile, turn left. There's my ways. <laughs> um, and, you know, for example, we also do rescues in the summertime from a lot of the farmer's markets. I got a phone call from Ambler Farm today. Uh, Jonathan, who's up there, messaged me and said, hey, I've got a bunch of extra lettuce. Can you pick it up? So it's nice. I feel like a lot of the um, food organizations here are really starting to tap into the idea that, you know what, it's silly to throw the food out. You know, if, if one of our rescuers can come pick it up, that's great. So, um, and I'm sure you guys know, kids are out of school in the summertime. And it is, you know, it's really hard. A lot of kids don't have access to food. And during the school year, a lot of kids don't have access to fresh food. So um, what we're providing them is, is such a great, um, just a little addition in, in any small way we can do. And we love our volunteers. I'm really excited because Fairfield County has like over 300 food rescuers, which is so cool. And we do food rescues in Fairfield County seven days a week. So 
Um, we have very, very generous donors and we have really um, committed volunteers. So, but there are still food rescues that have not been filled yet. So, um, you know, definitely go on the website. You can either go from your desktop or you can download our app and the app is uh, foodrescue.us and you can just log in. It takes, I think, a minute and a half to register to become a food rescuer. And once you're on there, uh, you can look at all of the rescues that are available. You can look by day. You can also go back and look at our old, um, our last In Facebook Live video. Miles. Turn left. Okay. Um, and it'll show you the nuances of how to navigate the schedule. So we're almost there. Um, part of the reason that I like to do uh, food rescue, I was actually a volunteer for these guys for about four years before I took the job as site director. And, you know, I like it because I like to give service, but there's times that I can't always commit to, you know, two days a week, or there's sometimes I can't even commit to one day a week. And so the nice thing about food rescue is I can do it whenever I want to do it. And I think that's, um, I think that's what makes uh, this type of service rescue, but you don't have to. Someone asked if all the food rescues are early in the morning or early in the day. They're actually all day long. We find that the rescues tend to be earlier in the day because a lot of restaurants and grocery stores want to move their food out. But we have rescues that are like two in the afternoon. Um, we have rescues literally seven days a week. If you work during the week or if you want to bring your family on the weekends, we have weekend food rescues. And again, the idea is that it's meant to be close. So you should be able to drive to the donation pick the food up and drop it off the whole thing in well under an hour so hope that answers your question um, and again we you know we work with restaurants and, and what have you and sometimes they do like to do late afternoon things but for the most part they're between like maybe nine and three o'clock all right we are almost there so this is actually my first time um, delivering here so this will be really great to um, meet Marissa who's in charge of the organization and we will drop the food off so I think it's been what has it been like seven minutes since we started Reagan Just yeah about. so it's really fast it's really fast and, and we got there. one more question, yeah. which is, what's the general weight of the boxes? Are they pretty heavy for, <laughs> for one person? or They're not. They're, they're really not terribly heavy. I mean, these were pretty light. I find that they, they don't pack them really heavy, which is really nice. And they all generally come in, like, um, like those leftover, like, Costco boxes that you get. So they're pretty easy to pick up. Um, I mean, I'm definitely not Superwoman, and I don't have a really hard time picking them up. But again, it's it's a really fun thing to do if you want to bring a family member. But I do most of my runs alone, quite frankly. I have to have to bribe my kids to come with me on the weekends sometimes. But I will say, when I bring them, they really like it. Um, you know, I think in Fairfield County, we're, we're very fortunate because a lot of people have access to things. And I think that, you know, oftentimes we forget that people in our own towns uh, don't have food. And so this is a really nice reminder. Um, I actually have a lot of high school kids. We have like some kids from the Westport, um, the Staples Slobs, who do this for service hours. I've had quite a few teenagers who want to get service hours, and this is what they do. And it's such a nice thing to do. So I think we're really close. I'm going to move over here. I think it's 100. Let's see. Just let me go. We're at 96. There we go. I see it. Right, so let's see where to pull in here. I think it's right here. Here we go, Child Guidance Center. And Marissa, you there we go. And Marissa just said to pull up. And what I do um, is when you pick up a rescue, there'll be what's called runner notes. And so it'll tell you, you know, who to ask for, um, where to go, where to drop off. So we're here, and uh, let's see if we can go find Marissa.
This is Marissa. She's our director of development. Hi. I feel like I should hug you. Yes. I talked to you so many times. Oh, you're welcome. How is everything? Really good. So we're just doing a quick little Facebook Live thing. Just okay. To just to do food, we'll drop sure. the food off. Just yeah, yeah just yeah. tell us where to drop it off. Yeah, you, well, actually, I'm just thinking um, it would be probably great right here because okay. we have fine. Actually, can Perfect. you sign in for me? Yes, happy to. Um, just yeah, confidentiality. Yeah, just can't. Yeah, so we'll, we'll just really do that inside. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah, they just have to sign something real quick. Do you want to? Um, you want to start getting some of these boxes, maybe? Sure. Are we bringing them in through here? Or I think, is there another... I think that she was saying she wanted to do it through the front. By the way, guys, this is Allison, our communications director. Hey, everybody. Doing one of my favorite things. <laughs> Food run. Woo! From a new donor. I love that. Well, I, I, um, me and Allison just went and oh, walked and did, did you, some stuff, did so you we're good. Turn it off? No, we're still good. Oh, okay. Thank you very much. Yeah, no problem. <laughs> Thank you. Bye. Thank you. I'll talk to you yeah. later. Thank you this so is great. Okay. 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 Right. Bye. Yeah. So I'll run her back to um, Pepper's car. Oh, she drove okay. her car here, so we, I may as well just go with her. Okay. You just yeah. want to do a little afterthought on yeah. the, uh, yeah. the process? Yeah, you and I need to talk about be good. Can you come back to the office for a few yes, minutes? Yes, definitely. All right, yeah, so right let's, do okay. yeah, let's do that. Okay, let's do that. Go ahead. Oh. Yeah, okay, let's just stand here against the car. Go for it. So uh, we just finished our, dro our drop off. It went really well. Um, we couldn't film at the organization just for uh, privacy reasons, which I'm sure you guys all understand. But that's it. That's basically a food rescue in a nutshell. And um, I'm Nicole Strait, and I hope that you will go online to our website, uh, foodrescue.us, and sign up for rescue. It's really easy and it makes your heart feel really good. Take care. Nice. Okay, so I'll see you guys back at the office then.